What's going on guys, King Shrats here, back another video on the channel. And do not adjust your screens for the second week in a row we went to Panda Express. Two reasons, number one, my initial order. I've been having bad luck with this recently, but I placed an order on a, on a virtual restaurant on DoorDash and they never confirmed the order. So it took like 45 minutes and you know, I ended up having to get a refund. So I had to find something. They just opened up this Panda Express near me. I did a video last week where I did five items and tried them. And everybody was talking about this specific kind of entree that I didn't get that they said was the best. So since I've never had it before, I went back to Panda Express and got all new items except for the sides because they only have like three different ones. So we got three more of the entrees that I didn't have last time. So we're going to try three different ones from Panda Express again. But the one that everybody, I, all I saw on every social media platform is you got to get the Beijing beef. It's the only reason I go there. Beijing beef, Beijing beef, Beijing beef. So with the Beijing beef, Panda Express. Part two, also got the chili sauce because they said you gotta add this to their dry ass chow mein that I got last time. So I got that over here. So that is what's on the video today. Um, if you appreciate the daily uploads, I try my best to be a consistent creator. So drop a thumbs up, like, subscribe, you know, all the cringy YouTube stuff. But either way, let's get into this because I am hyped to try this because supposedly this is supposed to be like what it is. So Beijing beef, it's on here too, Beijing beef. I like to put the little labels on there so they know. I always like to see the logistics. Ooh. All right, it looks good for like, you know, my Panda Express scale now. This looks like a dub. Beijing beef. Let's go to Beijing real quick. Let me, let me, let me, um, let me just do that real quick. I don't like, man, I don't want to do it because I'm, I'm not going to finish it. Okay. Always got to use the, the store-bought utensils because I'm lazy and I don't want to do dishes. But some peppers, roasted red. Looks like there's some chili in here and some onion. Make sure I get it all on a big bite of the Beijing beef. This better hit like y'all say it do. That's usually the best thing they have there. Y'all was right. Y'all was right. So it looks like it's breaded. And then they cook that down um, in this like sweet chili sauce with these red peppers and the onions. The beef itself is surprisingly not chewy, still tender. And even still kind of crispy. I'm gonna tell you what. Ooh, I get you a lot in here too, I like that. Big old pizza. That's a nice save on it. I saw so many comments from people saying that one of the only reasons they go to Panda Express is for their Beijing beef. I wouldn't call it the only reason, but it is a big ass reason. I will not lie about this. This is easily the best thing they've had on their menu. Orange chicken is still too. But this just knocked it down a perch. Kind of spicy, kind of sweet. Texture's good. You get this with the white rice that I got, or even their mid main, and you've got yourself a walking W. Chain restaurant scale. 9.5. Chain restaurant scale. 9.5. That is definitely a W. Moving on to the next one. This, I'd never heard of anything like this, but this looks like a palate swap of the Beijing beef. This is their sweet fire chicken breast. It looks just like the Beijing beef, but palate swap pretty much. I don't like these little things. They don't think about people filming stuff. This is why you keep plastic utensils here. Anyway, like I said, palate swap. There's red peppers in here and I dropped a piece. These look like little pieces of popcorn chicken. Obviously the sauce is different.
can't really, it, it's got a peppery taste. I can see the chili flakes. But it's pretty bland. Compared to this, which was like flavor, flavor, flavor. Let's go more here. This one has like a very mild, hold on. Hold on, I gotta get to the bottom. Because sometimes maybe the sauce fell. And I, I'm gonna let y'all not, not gonna do this to me. Ain't no way you made Chinese food that has no taste. It's a little bit spicy, it's a little bit peppery. A little, a little bit sweet. But I made sure I went all the way to the bottom and dug up as much sauce as I possibly could, but that's the best I could get right there. Texturally, this is good. Because it still has a nice crunch to it. It's clearly they have like a uniform chicken that they have that's probably frozen that they use for their orange chicken and so on. Because it's the same chicken pieces, but Overall, it's still, even though it has a little bit of sweetness, a little bit spicy, it's like, it's it's like, this is like the less attractive cousin of the Beijing beef. You could just take this sauce, you could just make Beijing chicken and you had a W. But this one just doesn't pack the flavor like you think it would. It just tastes like a little, little, it's too subtle for me to say I would get this all the time. Because once I put this in any of these flavorless sides, it's going to lose all everything. It's just going to get lost in, in, in the dry noodles. So, because of that reason, I'm out. I don't even want to rate this because I feel bad, but it's it's less than mid. It's probably a two. In 2.5. Not quite a two, but because the rice is a two. But it's a 2.5. I'll eat it, but on a on a chain scale, I wouldn't get it again. Like that's not that's not bringing in the points. But moving on. Move you here. A little bit of three carb molly. Why wouldn't I put this in it doesn't matter? Okay, hold on. Sweaty ass containers. That's what you gotta do sometimes. Y'all don't think about this stuff. I know you don't, because when you're eating, when you got to film eating and everything, like these little tabs right here are driving me nuts. But if I don't have them, then I can't save these and give them to somebody because then they'll just be falling over. But doesn't matter. Anyway, Kung Pao Chicken. That's what I had to get, Kung Pao Chicken. There's about two or three more other sides left. Let me know if you want me to finish this off and get the last few. Um, I get the family meal every time because it's the most price efficient that you could get. Uh, any other one, then I'd be paying even more money than I already am. The family meal costs about 40 bucks. You get three of these two large size and like a like a you know whatever but kung pao chicken usually has peanuts different kinds of vegetables um and and obviously their kung pao sauce i'm familiar with their kung pao sauce because as far as panda express sauces which they sell in stores it is the most macro friendly sauce that they have so i would get it from time to time 25 calories for like two tablespoons which on a food scale comparatively the orange chicken i believe is like 70 or 75 calories for like a tablespoon so i usually would get it so i'm familiar with what it tastes like and i didn't necessarily think it was bad i don't really care for zucchini so we're just gonna take that the hell off there i don't want that zucchini all right so let's let's try to kung pao did i get a peanut I gotta get the peanut here there's a peanut right there i'm just gonna plop this on the top and act like i didn't do it all right the, in, the influencer fork there we go okay it's still there i was about to be mad yeah it tastes like that sauce you know, I know all their sauces come from a, the containers you can buy them in stores. And I like that sauce. Um, this one's very moist. It's a chicken breast or unbreaded, whatever it is. And it's very saucy. It has a little bit of like a soy kind of kick. It's what you'd expect from like food court level Kung Pao chicken. I like the chunks of vegetables in here. Even though I'm not a biggest fan of zucchini, if you are. There's a ton of it in here, but the roasted red, the little bit of kick from, I'll grab this, the chili pepper that you see here, this is one of those that along with the black pepper chicken just goes well if you're going to pair it, which I am in a minute, with the white rice. So, alone, not that great, but these kinds of ones, in my opinion, are more for to, to make this dry sides work together. And with that in mind, I would give it like a 7. If I was eating this alone, it, it doesn't really wow me that much. But I understand why they did it. It's almost like a soy, spicy, soy kind of chicken. So, relatively enjoyable. And peanuts, bro. Not getting many peanuts. There's one. The peanuts just add a little bit of earthiness, a little bit of crunch to it. I never really like cared for the peanuts and kung pao chicken just never was my thing if it is yours hey 
No shame in it. I'm not here to judge you. But I do care for the zucchini. And it can go. I didn't ask him for it without zucchini. But either way, dub. Kind of a dub. It's not a home run, but it's, you know, like a hard hit single into left field. Close enough. You can get the hell out of the way. Because this is Beijing Baby Show right here. This is, this is, this is my Beijing. Beijing is Bay. Okay. Before I get into these dry sides, there was one last thing that I didn't get on the side menu. Which was the chicken e Whatever. Chicken egg roll. This is one that I know that someone watching this, if I were to say that it tastes burnt, what you're going to say, <laughs> I'm just telling you right now, listen, I work at Panda Express, I eat there all the time, they burnt you, they burnt this, it burnt the hell out of this, it just tastes burnt, it doesn't really taste like much, there's glass noodles on the inside, that's cool, but it just tastes like burnt paper, uh, egg roll wrapper. Other than that, there's like no flavor in this. None. Like, none. Wow. Not too many times that I get an egg roll that I can't even eat it. But this gets a no out of 10. A no. Not a number, just a no. That off to the side. And we went back with the W Rangoon. Not crab, just cream cheese Rangoon. I like these a lot. And I'm never going to go to this place and not get these. Ain't no way. They fried up right. Nice amount of cream cheese in here. Walking W, they're Wranglings. Every time. I rated them last time, so it's pointless for me to talk about it again, but. That's a must get. We got more of this dry mean, and we got it for a reason. A lot of people said that maybe I got a bad batch, maybe it wasn't done right. So I'm gonna grab this all the way from the damn bottom, and I'm also gonna try this again. I'm gonna tell you this right now, still looks dry. But someone said, a lot of people, again, I'm gonna try this once without anything on it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm, -hmm. mm -hmm. Yep, dry as hell. What they said, God, it's dry. Add chili sauce to it. And they said, thank me later. Everybody loves to thank me later. So, we're going to do the thank me later. I'm going to go in with some of this dry mein. Some people say they like the dry. Some people say chow mein supposed to be dry. I've had a lot of chow mein in my life. It was never dry like this. No, it wasn't. So, hey. But I'm always willing to try everything. You know? We can save this. Because with the sauces, it's not bad. So let's go in with the chili sauce. And yes, I said chili on purpose. Got greasy hands. Alright, let's go in with the chili sauce. Damn, that look like ketchup. Chili sauce is actually made. Shut up, bro. Like, can you just let me say stuff sometimes? I'm having conversations with myself because I know what y'all finna say. If I said it looks like ketchup, actually, chili sauce has the same bit. Like, can you not? Like, don't be that I bet you're fun at parties kind of person. But anyway. Let's get that bite. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm, still dry. <laughs> Is it better? It has a flavor now, at least. Still dry. I'll give them this, the noodles have a fresh texture. I just feel like they don't add enough something. Oil, I don't know. I've had chow mein before. That's not it, okay? Somebody said chow mein's supposed to be dry. I don't think any food's supposed to be dry. But that's just me. The chili sauce at least gives it some kind of flavor, but if there wasn't some of that Beijing sitting in there. All right, let's go in with the pow pow. Get some of these damn zucchinis out though. We don't want those. 
Okay. Do me a favor. Go over here into exile. Um, with that dry ass chicken roll. Thank you. Oh, we got two more. Fellas, do me a favor. Get up out of here. Boom. Okay. Now, if you mix this with the sauce like the Kung Pao, and you go in, W. It needs something. That's all. Because the actual like freshness of the noodle. I like. When you mix these this, these these uh these dry noodles, and I said this before, I'm pretty sure that that's what they had in mind when they made these, because that's why things to me like white rice work so well with saucy food like Chinese food. You know, my picks for me would be the white rice, the Beijing beef, the orange chicken. So far, I still got a few I gotta get, which I've said, I would never get that again. And the Kung Pao chicken, I would probably stay away from it as well. But a little bit of this Beijing. Oh, yeah. This is when I always run into problems, personally, because I like eating rice with a fork, but then you can't grab the chicken. All day. All day. Where's my crab, bro? Do I got an open chili sauce? I feel like I do. I don't want to waste one. There it is. All right. Try the chili sauce and crab rangoon. Let's see what that is. Let's see what that hits for. like a spicy crab rangoon kind of vibe with the cream cheese that's a dub that is a dub oh yeah i'm glad i went back because the beijing beef as far as like chain panda express type of places is elite and this is why you gotta do whole menus. Cause you never know what you're gonna like or not like. And that's why I do reviews on places like this. To give people a little bit of a reference point, right? For example, say you went to Panda Express one time, you never had anything at Panda Express. So you walked in and you ordered this, the chow mein and an egg roll. You might walk in there and be like, yo, this place is horrible. And you missed out on something. I feel like a lot of restaurants, when you're dealing with like the mid-level chains, not an S-tier chain where there's no misses, because there's some places that are like that. But a place like this, that's in that middle tier, where not everything's great, but there are some good stuff there, you might have missed out on something you would have really enjoyed. And there are some restaurants like that, and there are some that are not. So, it's always nice to try things and see what's what. For me, so far, I've already said it, but I say it again. White rice, Beijing beef, orange chicken, crab rangoon. That's my Panda Express order. I think we got to round this out, and we got to try the rest of it. So we can see if there's something else we can add to the fire. But, for sure these with that being said i just went in and headbutted this that's my cue it's time to go i don't want to finish all this food got to make sure everything's intact but we tried everything i'm gonna go make some friends give them some food and we'll be back tomorrow i hope you enjoyed it let me know if you want me to do the rest of panda express because i probably am anyway but i always like to hear your feedback we back though tomorrow more content man i love you out of hand signs they made it to YouTube.